Hi people, I'm back with another tutorial today and today's video will be on how to jailbreak your iPod Touch or iPhone version 2.2.1. As you can see, it is factory stored and I'm hacking my friends today and I just restored it and there's nothing in it. So I'll be teaching you how to do this. And you can see in the bottom that this is factory restored and sorry about the really bad camera quality I have a really bad camera so let's get started some of you might be wondering what happens if you break your iPod while doing this which I highly doubt just click restore in iTunes and your iPod should be back to normal but again I highly doubt that this will happen but just in case so open up your internet browser and the first thing that you want to do is download these two files. The first one is iPod Touch Quick Pwn version 2.2.1. This also works for iPhone. Just copy this and paste it or just go to the link on the side. It should look something like this. Just click here to start download. And it should look something like this. Just click save file and click OK. I've already done it. And the second link that you want to go to is this. Just copy and paste it or go to the link. This is a direct link, so just click Save File and click OK. So once that's done, you can close out of your internet browser, and you should close out of iTunes also. And I've downloaded everything and put them all in a folder called Jailbreak. The first, the second thing that you want to do is right-click on this QuickPone 2.2.1 and click Extract here. You need a program called WinRAR. I'll put a disc I'll put the link in the description box. You should get a folder called QuickPone 2.2.1. So the third thing that you want to do is open up the pineapple logo thing that says QuickPone. And you should get this. Just make sure that your iPod is connected with a USB cable. And right now it's detecting your iPod. I'm using an iPod Touch. And what firmware you have. The firmware is the 260 meg file that you downloaded. It looks something like this, and if it doesn't find it, just click Browse, but my one did find it. You can add Cydia and add Installer. I don't think Installer is really that helpful because all it does is just take up space and nobody really updates it, but you definitely want Cydia. And replacing boot logos is totally pointless, so don't even click it. And then click the blue arrow. Again, it's saying make sure that your iPod is connected. And here's the really bad camera quality again, right now. And make sure it's locked in, and just follow the on-screen directions. Just click down on the blue arrow. So hold down. So right now it's saying wait for your iPod to connect in recovery mode, and you should get this. Hold down the home button for um, five seconds. Now hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds. And don't let go of the home button. And then let go of the power button, but keep on holding down on the home button. And hang around for 30 seconds. And make sure you do these perfectly, or else you might have to do it again. And then you'll hear your USB disconnecting and connecting a bunch of times. And after that, you can let go. And it's going to say, please wait while your iPod is prepared for jailbreaking. Don't be scared if your iPod turns white. That's what it's supposed to do. And, yeah. Just keep on waiting. You can grab a soda or something and eat stuff. You should get this thing downloading jailbreak data and it should look something like this. And it'll say congratulations the Ponish process appears to have completed successfully. Please wait for your device to reboot in its newly modified state. You should still see the downloading jailbreak data and now you should see a pineapple that's running apparently and it's doing a bunch of things on the status bar
Okay, so after the running pineapple is gone, it should boot up normally again, and yeah, just stick around, you're practically done. You will have, so my device has just finished rebooting the slide to unlock, and there you have it, you have Cydia, and I'm not connected to Wi-Fi, you have to put it in, but it's gonna be reorganizing some stuff, and this is how you get a jailbroken iPod Touch. So if I helped you, just subscribe, and and if you have any questions, just comment or send me a private message. And I hope I helped. Thanks for watching.